All right, Guy, and what has been billed as the biggest news to hit the SEO industry ever? And I have said those words, and I kind of mean it. There's a big, big leak coming directly from a Google engineer. Uh, it went to Rand Fishkin, who those of you who have been in the game for a while will remember from SEO Moz, which is currently running the Moz conference uh, in Seattle right now, which I left after saying bye to Joy Hawkins uh, to come out to this tiny little cubicle that we're recording from. And it then went to Mike King. Mike King and Rand are probably two, from a, from a pure reputation perspective and renowned perspective, two of the best SEOs out there. Um, but this was a leak from Google, and it was verified that it came from a Google engineer who is, fine, who is actually now kind of outed himself. Uh, there's a lot of information in there, Guy. What do you think about the leak and the information and how SEOs are responding to this? You already kind of gave this away in the news item. I I'm did. Not, I'm, I'm sure very we're cynical, but, agree I, on this, but I have more breaking take, news. So uh, you have more breaking news. Well, the, the since, we got to give credit. We recorded this. We got to give credit Go. to the person. We didn't talk about this in the show notes, but um, okay. Uh, Dan Petrovich from. Uh, He's one of the smartest SEOs. I always reg regularly giving him praise. He actually found it and was sitting on it and, um, you know, had was analyzing the data, yada, yada, yada. And then it, it got released uh, additionally. Somebody else leaked it to, um, I guess, I think you're right. They, they, this other anonymous source to, to, to Rand, yeah. um, but Dan was actually, he has uh, the receipts that he was the first to actually find it. He was actually working with Google to be like, hey, I found this vulnerability. I think they offered him five grand or something for his trouble. But um, anyway, <laughs> look, look, this is this is why I'm so cynical about this stuff. And, and again, okay. I, I, I think. I think it's good. I th so personally, I think it's, it's th here's my big takeaways. I actually had a Twitter thread about this. I, the first thing is, I think it's really interesting that after all of these years, this is the first real, true, high-profile leak. And you got to ask yourself, like, what does that say? This is somebody, you know, historically, Google Google is the, I don't know what color wall of silence you would do, the, the rainbow color wall of silence, since it's multiple colors, green, yellow, and orange wall of silence. Like, you don't leak, Google didn't Happy leak. Happy Pride Month, brought to you by Lunch Hour Legal Marketing well, inadvertently. Yes, and... Absolutely. And um, those are also happen to be Google's call. So Google's colors are kind of rainbowish. But the point being that, you know, Google's been around for a long time, no leaks. And I think this is a real demonstration of kind of where they are overall culturally in their company and all this kind of stuff. Two, and this is when you open the email up and you see one of Conrad and I's competitors pitching you about how they've got the secret leak documents and they've done the analysis on the leaks. Remember, uh, no one knows exactly what parts of this are actually being used. Some of the stuff in the, so it's an internal API uh, document uh, code. Yeah, why don't you talk about what was leaked so we can talk about why SEOs are so are claiming to have backdoored the algorithm? Yeah, it's um, it's a, I'm not probably going to get it wrong, but it's like API repository, internal API repositories is technically what it is, and um, you know it's got things in there like variables and formulas and some comments and you know people the SEO community to to their credit. So, anyways, part two, the, the second thing of this whole thing is, I think it's good from an accountability standpoint that SEOs are like talking about this and are like, this is what we see. And because again, it's like, you know, when you get a glimpse into the machine, there's, there's might be some things to learn. And, and, and so in Conrad, you made this point. I, a lot of people are making this point. Like there is some things, some stuff in there that does seem to validate some of the hunches that SEOs have had. Um, and yeah. I would certainly encourage you to go read Mike King's stuff at I pull rank because his, his posts on this, I think, um, really lay it out in detail and also talk about like, how, you know, his post on how do we, where do we go from here? Talks about some like tactical things that you might adjust. Um, but it's just so overhyped and oversold like everything else. And so, you know, people are using it as a, Hey, check out what I know, or I was right all along, or 
you know, I know the secrets that my competitors don't, and we're going to use this to our benefit. I think there's a lot of I was right all along, and I, I and I'm going to, I'm going to say I was right all along. I'm going to even say that Gabe was right all along. Huh. Um, I already knew I was right. I know, but but this is my point. So this is this is self serving, but like you knew you were right because you've actually watched the data over a long period of time. Yeah, exactly. I don't care where, what their documents, their late leaked right. information says. Some Maybe they the, leaked it on of, purpose. I, Oh, what, what are you in the government? Which, no, uh, geez, goodness. come on. We're t- <laughs> what a great way okay. to get to, to throw SEOs off the scent than to leak documents that they're actually not using. Wow. <laughs> okay. You don't know what they did. That's my whole point. <laughs> I, well, they did. I guess technically I they, they said that they it was an accidental leak. So we have that much. That's, that's all they've acknowledged. That they said it's an accidental leak. If you were going to have a deliberate accidental leak, you would what probably would you still decide to say that it was say? an accidental leak. Uh, those of you who'd like to take your tinfoil hats off, please do so now. Um, but the, the reason I say that we were right all along is because some of the official word that Google gave and has used and the, and the talking points that they have used consistently over time conflict with what we have actually seen in practice. And I think there has been a growing evolution of people who have had enough time and enough data to play with and enough history and have listened to Google for enough time where we're not really taking their word for it. The, the, the big obvious one in this tech, well, it's not. A, this isn't a. Te- what, where do we go from here? Point. This is what what they've what is now clear. You know, for a very long time, Google said we don't look at click data, right? And part of this leak was a thing called Nav Boost, which is looking at clickstream data, right? Um, you're you're not you're not in your head well, like you don't I want, again. I want to be I want to be as deferential and judicious to the Google PR people as I can because come on, fair. I, again, I'm I'm trying to play devil's advocate a little bit. I mean, I'm I'm with you. Okay. I'm, I'm the person who's like I'm literally out there being like, if you're SEO person saying this do this is what Google says, I'm like, <clears throat> you time to th- rethink. And, 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 and that's even too strong because there are some things we should listen to what Google says about, right? I mean, Google does say some basic things about SEO that are I would agree with. You know, even they admit that links make a difference. Um, but um, Google has technically, I do you have a quote that Google has said, we absolutely do not look or capture or store or use clickstream data in any anything at all related to Google? No, that's not what they say. They say things like click streams are not clicks are not a direct ranking signal. Well, what does that mean? They're, they're using it some is it you being used to train the algorithms? Cuz then who cares if it's direct or indirect, you know? But anyway, your point is not lost. I'm with you. Take a, Google has no Google is a publicly traded company. They have no economic incentive to teach people how to rank in the organic search results. Period. There is no economic incentive. Okay. So I'm with you on that one. I so I'm going to pull out three things, yeah. three summaries of three three interesting points that I think are very salient, and they are going to fall into the. I told you so. I was right all along. I, I love it. Bucket. I love it. That's what this segment should be. I know, and you're, and and he's going to be like, you're a scumbag digital marketing person. No, trying to claim no, I'm you not. Are. I'm going to be like, I'm going to, I'm going to be like, I you're, probably you're, agree with you on these. I just don't. I, no, feel- I'm, I'm using these to to reinforce what you've said. I don't even have to reinforce what I've said. Okay. I'm going to let, let's 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 start with links. Okay. Okay. So one of the things that became clear in this is that they're actually using click data as a factor for how valuable a link is, right? So we talk, we talk about click data and he has talked about the value and importance of clicks, which, and you, you I mean, that's, that's basically his catchphrase and that comes across. Uh, yeah, the there's like 400 and some references to links in the, the link document. So if your SEO person is telling you about how mink- links matter less and there's all these other things and don't worry about links, time for a new SEO person. Yeah. 
But but also, so, and, and you and I have been talking about the quality and both, two, there's two things, the quality of links and the location of links, local being a signal. So there were two things that came out around links specifically that I think are very, very, that, that makes me, gee, me and Guy sit here and crow, I told you so. Number one is quality and, quali- and click through as a proxy on quality makes sense. So all of those garbage links that you've been getting from porn sites in Thailand aren't really going to help you. We've talked about this for a long time and we've, we've known this for a long time and we've seen it for a long time. It's, this just is reinforcing that. The other interesting thing that I thought came out of this was that they are analyzing links in a geographic pattern. So where those clicks are coming from geographically. And Guy and I have been saying to you guys, for years that g- localized links, and that's a problem with the stupid domain rankings, uh, algorithms uh, or, or, or scores that try and proxy the value of a, a link or, or, or a backlink profile because they can't take into account these two things. Number one, click data because they don't have that information. And number two, they don't have location by and large. And so Google using and, and, and using maps uh, to, to value links. I think that was really, really, fascinating um you disagree with any of that don't disagree and uh, the other thing that i think is interesting is some of the and again we don't know any of what's being used not used but they are looking at anchors and they are there's all sorts of stuff about demotion based on anchors and again my view is is that we've been talking about abused anchor uh text for years but, hey, Guy, for our listener who just logged in, what is anchor text? That's the words in the clickable part of your lang. Um, but but location information in that, in in addition to the words around the link, right? So like, you know, anyway, this is stuff we've been talking about forever. You've got a local business, and the local business covers the local community, or the uh, there's a local publication or local organization, local news site covers your local industry, the whole site's about the city. And then you've got links from pages on there that are saying things like, yeah, and here's this local lawyer in the city. Google's capturing all that information and it's playing a role in, it's likely playing a role in how they're using it to rank. So location matters. And they capture those links knowing where that clicker, clicker, that user User. is. So the clicker, I sound like... uh, I sound like you should, hits. Words, you should use the word hits, hits to talk hits. about my hits. Yeah, That's right. Got any hits? Lots of hits. Our yeah. website has lots of hits. Yeah. And, and um, I'll give a shout We got to give a shout out too. I forgot to give this shout out. Near Media. You're so nice to people. You're, well, you're the, the ones that deserve attribution. it. I, okay, good. David Mim. Just a nicer David person Mim? We've established Come on. This. You got to give David Mim right. some love. Local okay. search implications of the Google API leak at Near Media. Check that out. We'll put that in the show notes. He's talking a lot about the stuff that Conrad and I are talking about too. Yeah. Um, Andrew shotland has got another good article on this as well. Yes, he uh, does. Specifically around local. Mm-hmm. Um, and, 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 the, and the reason Guy and I are focused on local is because we're dealing with you guys and you guys by and large are local businesses. So what, what Guy and I just did was a big I told you so on links and the location of links and how domain rating is stupid and blah, blah, blah. Um, this although, been although, this. although... One of the Don't things. Just sit here and gloat. Would you just gloat with me and stop being so? <laughs> well, I, this is it. actually so. You know, this is a funny. This is one of those. Again, it's a little nuance, but you know, <sighs> one of the things that people accuse Google of saying wasn't a thing is site-wide authority. And you know, even though their most recent documentation does say they have some site-wide type, they imply that there's some site-wide signals, but <clears> most of them are at the page level. The stuff in the in the document in this uh, leak seems to show that there are some site-wide things that Google looks at, which again is like, all right. And 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 you and I have known this for a long time because we've seen this happen, right? There's right. there's a reason. Well, I mean, when I was running Avo back in the early, 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 early days, our user-generated content didn't have a ton of links, but boy, oh boy, did that domain have a ton of links. And, right. and that's why the Q&A took off. That's why the, the lawyer profiles took off, right? That's so why like, Forbes ranks for everything. We, oh, we should... I I dug a little further into the Forbes conversation. We'll Ooh. bring that up at, at our, at our next, next, time. next... Maybe office At hours. our next time. We'll, we'll talk about Forbes. Um, okay. The next thing where I want to go with, and I told you so, and I did this 
do you guys remember Relic was author when SGE came out and then Google started putting in your profiles and you could you could proactively edit your social profiles on um, Google Business Profile. Uh, Google very much recognizes authorship. I've been saying this for a long time. I don't think Relical's author ever went away. I think we destroyed it as SEOs because it was spammed to death and, and, and abused by people like Fine Law. Oh, sorry, we just lost another sponsor. Um, but the concept of authorship, if Guy writes an article about lawyer SEO, it's going to rank better because Guy wrote it. That is a very, very real thing. And it's 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 kind of been hidden, but that and it make it intuitively makes sense to me, right? They figure out what you know a lot about. And then if you if you write about it, it ranks well. Um, so that concept is very much, at least in the notes in there, very much alive. You are looking dubious. I love it. Well, I'm I'm conceptually I'm with you on Google wants to surface content from expert authors. When you say okay. authorship, though, it sets off all sorts of flags because people are going to go think you can add rel equals author, and they're all of a sudden no. Okay, rank. fair. Yeah. So rel equals author died with yeah. Google Plus, but the concept of tying your content to a bunch of profiles that all reflect you is a very real thing. 100%. And I would not, so so bylines become really, really important. I would not discount that. We've been pushing this for a long time, especially when SGE came out, it, it became clear that that was a part of it. They did this about this author, like literally talking about who doing AI generated content around who had written the piece. So clearly that was part of the game. And then they threw the social profiles in, Google Business Profile, right? So they're clearly trying to tie all these signals together to yep. identify authorship. I, I agree with that. that. And then the other thing that I'll add, which is the, I think this is the, the really most impactful one, is when people are searching on your brand plus a modifier, and those are getting a disproportionate <clears throat> number of clicks. So for example, instead of just, we'll use our business, law firm SEO services, when people are searching and clicking on attorney sync law for SEO services, that is, that's causing that query to show up in auto suggest. It's causing the query to show up in related searches. It's causing us to show up in um, some of the other kind of panels that they show, like you know uh, other good SEO companies. And so, so to, to it, it's in line with the same theme. If your name plus city plus attorney starts getting searched and clicked on. You know, to me, that's an overlap with this a concept of brandiness or authorshipness or whatever. They're gonna they're gonna say, "Hey, look, I'm gonna show the one box for Morgan and Morgan for a general a, a non branded personal injury search because Morgan and Morgan is synonymous with personal injury." So all those things all that right. you said, yes, it just not rel equals author. Not rel equals author. Yeah, agreed. Because they killed it. Right. Very sad. Because we we because we abused it, the SEOs. It's important to remember that things that are easily gamed are exactly the things that Google wants to demote. And so this is why when someone's trying to sell you on this secret thing that they found, th Google has <laughs> the uh, needless to say, hopefully needless to say, some of the best engineering talent still, even though there's a lot of competition, there's AI and all this stuff. Some of the best engineering talent. Um, they've been doing this a long time. You are in your basement trying to figure out a couple of things that might work for some time. Fine. But again, they're they're trying to demote these things that are easy to game. If it was so easy just to be like, oh, I'll just put rel equals author, and then everything that's about this subject is written by me, of course, they wouldn't use it. Now, that's why, again, come back to. Links are hard because if if you actually can get links, you know, if you can get links from your local community, they're not bought, they're not domain authority, they're not blah blah blah. They're they're topically relevant, they're locally relevant, they're they're from the local pizza shop who isn't doesn't have like a link selling scheme going on. Those are the what. When, what would you do? What would you make is more of a? What would you give more weight to? So if you're an attorney listening to your favorite podcast after you hit the subscribe button, what do you do about this stuff? What do you do about all the stuff coming out of Mountain View? What do you do about all the stuff coming from all the SEOs who now have looks behind the curtain? 
Well, to, to me, the starting point, like everything else is, is, is your, if you're talking to vendors or partners, are they building trust or eroding trust? If they're selling you leak, if they're selling you leak secrets, they're eroding trust. Uh, if your current agency is selling you leak secrets, in my opinion, you're, they're eroding trust. Um, the second thing tactically, you know, if you've been in the camp of links matter less, or you've been in the camp that clicks don't matter, or if you've been in the camp that uh, who posts, publishes doesn't matter, um, if you've been in the camp that brand doesn't matter, maybe you start to reconsider some of those positions. Again, we don't know what's currently being used and what's not being used, but gosh, you know, it reminds me, did you ever see the movie Contact? It make it. It reminds me of the conversation. No, you haven't. Well, it's a great movie. I love you, the you, you know me. I, uh, yeah. right, I should have okay, known. Have you ever even heard of Contact? <laughs> did, you, did you ever see the... <laughs> the answer is no. Anyway, you know, but part of the, I'm going to totally botch the quote, but they're looking up in the sky and they're like, if we're the only ones out there, it seems like an awful waste of space. Well, in the same context, all this data that Google's collecting or did collect at some point, whether they're using it or not in ranking, ranking now, seems like an awful lot of wasted time and effort to be capturing all this data. And so, you know, I think for me, it's like at, at the very least, it should make you rethink whether Google is talent trying to teach you how to rank in their search engine or not. You know, if you've been on the Google PR, you know, I call them Google sycophants, but these people that are like, Google's Google tells us everything we need to know about SEO. I'm like, maybe you might rethink that position. What do you got? What Listen, do you think is tactical I, I, here? No, I, I when first of all, when you said contact, I thought you were gonna, you know, make fun of the Ohio State's uh, spring game being no contact, but that's not where you went. Um, but you know, it's it's this has been an evolution of mine. I, I remember early on in the days, like I was very lucky. I got to. I got to work with Vanessa Fox. I got to work with Alex Bennett. I got to work with Darren Shaw. I got to, I, I, I did, I'm not, I'm not saying this to brag, but it was a very, very small community. And I really did believe, and I still do believe at that time this was true, but like I used to have dinner with Matt Cutts on occasion with a group of SEOs when Seattle did their big thing. And like Danny Sullivan was really nice to me. And I was very much a Google flag bearer. And frankly, Rand Fishkin kind of annoyed me because I felt like a lot of the time he was trying to prove how he was smarter than Google, which is like an annoying SEO attribute. I evolved into kind of the Google apologist or explainer for a while. And now, frankly, with, 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 with some of the stuff that's come out, contradicting some of the stuff that has been said, and how they are handling local service ads with brands and pay-per-click and the conflation of brands and pay-per-click and how, and you'll see this in some of the antitrust stuff, how organic and pay-per-click I, I, I used to believe, and it, and I believe it still was in the past, a very much church and state situation where paid and organic. I mean, the people that I worked with, uh, in the paid camp at Google, when we were a Google premier partner, they didn't know four fifths of anything about organic. Right. And so it was really this, this, this wall, those things are not true. Those things are not true. And you just have to follow the data, the performance to, to know that definitively, you don't need this to come out because we already knew, we already knew a lot of these things and you've been hearing these things from us. And I hate to leave with it. I told you so, but like we knew this. And so the, the Google fanboy thing, which I very much was, was a part of. I'm, I, I, I've, I've gone from fanboy to apologist to like downright pissed off. The best leak you can follow is your own data's leak. That doesn't really make sense, but you get what I mean. That does not make sense. I was wondering where you, it was a great attempt at a good wrap up and it, <laughs> Yeah, totally and I went flat. on for a while, I so mean, you could have set that up for a while. Let's I'm only, try again. I'm only human. I'm only human. But um, no, All right. look. So as we leave to go take a leak, <laughs> we'll see you next month. <laughs> Perfect, Conrad. Um, <laughs> I don't have any good leak puns, to be honest with you. Now you've got me thinking no, about that one. No. But Unless we are you are Shelly Leak and the great state of South Carolina, have a great Two week break of lunch or legal marketing. We're Sorry, very grateful. Just... We're 
grateful for your leaks. <laughs> Be grateful that you can still leak. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, seriously, a lot of editing. This to do podcast this is quickly leaking users. Yes, um, as we go on and on. Thank you, Poor dear Allie listener, and Adam. for bearing with us as we rant through this leak episode. Uh, if you just stumbled here and like, what the heck is going on? I guess it's kind of a hard ass to ask you to mash that subscribe button after that. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, don't. Go, go, go listen to a different but, marketing but I podcast that claims to have all of the secrets. Here's my wrap up today. We are super grateful for the dozen or so of you passionate audience members, right? We get the question. They're engaged with the questions. They're showing up for office hours. We want to hear some from some fresh voices. So please do uh, like, subscribe, follow us, send us emails, send us direct messages. If you've got questions you want us to answer and, um, we are appreciative of uh, your time and attention. So until next time, Conrad and Guy shutting off the leak. Money makes a money makes a it makes a world go round. Money makes a world go round. Yeah, money makes a world go round. Yeah, money makes a world go round. Yeah, money make a world